Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card, and this is Leo Energy. So this is a card of um, being patient with something. Uh, someone feels a very strong connection to you. This is a very resilient bond, but there's some sort of healing that needs to take place here as well. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Hanged Man. Pisces energy. So there's a desire to move forward here. With the hanged man, they, you could be in separation from this person or you could just have not heard from them in a long time. There's someone who's resisting reaching out or who has been resisting. This could be you, this could be them. But it does look after like after a period of non-action or delays, you will be hearing from someone because the eight of wands in the chariot is forward movement and it's a lot of communication coming in at once. So someone needed time to get clarity with the hanged man being here. It's like, even if you weren't hearing from this person, a lot was happening during that time. I'm seeing absence makes the heart grow fonder type of energy here. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is a very slow progressing situation but this does look like a connection with a lot of potential to lead into something very fruitful but it does require some level of patience and restraint so let's see okay we have the judgment card scorpio energy the eight of wands again fire energy and the six of pentacles earth energy so you will be getting a lot of communication from this person the judgment card does show an opportunity to try again to start something over to revive the connection there's this feeling of second chances here uh, there's also a feeling of them wanting to give you a truth wanting to open up to you about their truth um, they want to balance the connection out with you as well a very giving energy from them to you so they this person is going to be giving more to the connection okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you Gemini. Okay, we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Okay, so it does look like after appearance of a period of nothing, there's going to be a lot going on for this connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So someone is taking a leap of faith towards this connection. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. have Venice Mallow, delicate fleeting beauty. When life is not coming up roses, look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them. So something like you may have felt like it was a setback, this delay, this period of pause, this non-action, but it's actually helping this connection. There's something about needing to reframe your perspective and see how this is actually like a silver lining because something about time apart has really helped um, the situation. So I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Gemini. Okay, 
we have surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to, ex to the ecstasy of flow. Yeah, it looks like something is really working out for you guys. It's in an unexpected way, but it's like it's happening even better than what you had expected. But it is, again, it's it's happening in a way where it's, it's not, it's kind of subtle. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.